here in, in the Treasure Valley and throughout Idaho, just about anyone can, be, can become an inspector. An industry that is unregulated, and now there are some saying home inspectors should be held to a higher standard because of some of the issues popping up in the Treasure Valley. More growing pains for the valley, as one home inspector tells us, because of the lack of restrictions on his industry, anyone can say they're a professional at looking for damage in homes. And this, he says, is leading to some people being left to pay for thousands of dollars of damage that had been missed. Our Joey Prechtel looked in on this and sat down with one homeowner that went through this and joins us now with this disturbing story. Joey? Yeah, Mark, well, was, I'm sure you know, the first time you buy a home is supposed to be a pretty big occasion in your life. But for Laura Stone and her fiance, that celebration quickly faded when just a month and a half into owning their home, they found extensive damage in their kitchen. Laura told me that if the home inspector had actually caught it and told them about it, they would have never bought that home. Laura Stone and her fiance bought their first home together around a year ago. We finally ended up closing on our home. Super excited to be in. That excitement faded though, as they came across a problem in their kitchen just a month and a half later. All of this stuff was, was what we had removed. The young couple soon came across dry rot, mold, and other damage. Strapped for cash, after buying the home, they were forced to fix it themselves. But it took us 42 days to get our home back to a livable situation. With that time, and an estimated two to $3,000 later, the problem was resolved. But Laura says it should have been caught in the home inspection that she paid for prior to moving in. But it wasn't, and she found out later the industry isn't regulated. And for the home inspection to be so loosely regulated, it just doesn't make sense to me. This is a problem Brandy Funk is seeing more and more of. He's the president of the Idaho Association of Home Inspectors, and he says that almost anyone can become an inspector in the state. So we know of two um, that are on the sexual predator list, uh, offender list for Idaho that are out doing home inspections, gaining access to homes with children and, and you know families. Funk puts some of the blame on realtors. So if the agent's two or three uh, preferred choices are busy, they usually go through a list or just try calling around to get someone out there in time. But Boise Regional Realtor says that isn't the case. I've been a realtor for 10 years, and I'll tell you that's not the way that, that I certainly schedule home inspections. And as with any purchase, they recommend the buyer do their homework. Look at their credentials, right? Have they been certified by their trade association? Um, do they carry uh, insurance for uh, errors and admissions and that sort of thing, as realtors do? It's something Laura wishes she could go back and do when she bought her home. Looking back, there's just a lot of lessons learned. So if you're looking at buying a home and you wanna know where you can go or where you can look to see if this you know, potential home inspector is legitimate, you can go to the Idaho Association of Home Inspectors. You can go to their website. The home inspectors that are on there have gone through a pretty, you know, rough regime of just to become a member there. They had to show that uh, they had insurance, they had to have plenty of experience, and then they had to take a test as well. Now, Randy Funk, you heard him say there that, you know, it's not regulated, but he said he doesn't expect that to come anytime soon since builders at this time in Idaho aren't regulated either. Mark? All right, Joey, thanks.